so this video which I've filmed on several cameras <laughs> I, uh, anyway I installed this display in my truck because I wanted a backup camera and uh, more on that in later in the video I just uh, it, I thought it might be helpful because I watched a ton of videos about these things trying to make up my mind which one to buy and how I wanted to install it and I looked at a bunch of videos and I only found one video where the guy even hinted at where you needed to bring out your cable to bring it up into the cab. Only found one and it wasn't too helpful. So when I started exploring on this one, this is a 2008 Gen 3 Dodge Ram 1500. So when I started digging into this one, I was pleasantly surprised to find out just how easy and simple it was um, to be able to go through the floorboard and get to the back of the truck. And I'm going to say this, I probably will say this a couple more times in the video. I've kind of lost track. This one wasn't scripted. Um, you want to mount your camera and you want to start with your cable back there at the bumper. Make your connections there and get you some uh, wire ties, tie wraps, zip ties, whatever you want to call them. Or you could use some electrical tape. Believe me, you want to get you some zip ties. And just zip tie that cable to the wiring harness that runs to the back corner of the truck. And follow it all the way down the frame until you get up here under the front of the cab. And then you wanna, you're going to kind of do a little crossover under there on the frame and get to the other side. And then you want to follow the emergency brake cable, which I'll show you in the video where that penetration is. It's so easy, so convenient. And then you just take it, stick it, run it up under your carpet and bring it out underneath the console. I did take the bottom panel off under the steering wheel, which is only two screws. I did pop it out of the way, which made it really easy for me to reach under the carpet with the cable and pull it out from under the carpet over under the console. It was really simple, very easy, which was a pleasant surprise. I thought it was going to be a, a lot of trouble to run that cable back there. But I'm glad to know it's not too much trouble because I may change it out and put a different camera back there. This camera look straight behind the truck it gives you a great wide view and it's a good clear camera but it doesn't show me my trailer hitch or anything so i may switch over and, and purchase one of the cameras that are actually mounted in the handle i may get i may get one of those i'm not sure or i may go with one of the ones that mounts on the license plate itself so it'll be centered right over the license plate and it'll be looking right straight back at my uh, trailer hitch on the boat Which is the main reason I wanted a backup camera Keep watching the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. I think it'll be a big help to anybody who's thinking about adding a dash cam or a, a backup camera or one of these uh, Units to go on your dash or whatever to Connect to your phone have hands-free calling and a backup camera navigation all that stuff Anyway, keep watching. Right here. This piece right here. Which is part of this right here. If you put your fingers underneath this and lift it, it'll come right up. It comes unsnapped. You'll see in the video. I'm going to be a little bit repetitive, I know, but I want to make sure I get this for you to see. So anyway, you lift this up and then you pull the whole thing back towards the back of the truck and this whole panel comes out. Underneath that, if you lift the carpet up, you'll find it right here, approximately right here, about halfway between this and the front of the seat. You'll find that there's a grommet in there that's about this big, about two and a half, three inches long. 
there's a cable that goes down through it, which is your emergency brake cable. For the emergency brake. So I took that grommet. So I took that grommet once I had it exposed and I split it with a razor blade. I took me a pair of nippers, wire cutters, and I nipped me a little triangle right in the middle of that split for my wire to go through. The wire that goes to the backup camera. I, I need to run this wire to the back bumper under the truck to my new backup camera. And I'm looking for a place to penetrate to get under the truck so I can route the wire. And it's right here. You just take this one panel out along the bottom of the door jam. All you do is lift up on it from the back and pull it backwards and it comes right out. And right there is the penetration for the emergency brake. Perfect place to put your wire through. There you go. So, <clears throat> next thing I did was install the backup camera which you can see right here okay so now you want to pay attention to right here on my truck I suppose all the Gen 3's are like this I don't know but this is where your trailer lights would go in, plug in you want to look for in the harness behind the bumper it's easy to get to you just it's got the plastic conduit around it you open it up Dig the wires out and you want to find a white wire with a green tracer. That's the backup light wire. That's what you need to find. That's where you're going to get power that goes to the red wire on the camera hookup. So, I'm going to stick the camera under. I'm not going to get under it, but I'm going to stick it under it. Maybe we'll look up and get it. Okay, so then you want to bring once you once you've got that exposed up there where the once you've got it exposed where your grommet is where you're going to make your penetration through the bottom. Bring all your cable back here. Hook your camera up and then work your way from here towards the front of the truck. And what that'll do is you what you can do is just follow the cables that come from the back of the truck all the way down the frame till you get to here and bring it up through and why you want to start at the back is you want all your slack to be up here and that way you've got all that slack to work with to get it hooked up ever how you want to hook it up mine comes through the grommet here under the carpet it goes under the carpet and I've got it run through the bottom of the console under the pocket of the truck the, the glove compartment and as you can see <coughs> I have it attached. I gotta have some air conditioning, people. So as you can see, I got these little stick-on clips, the rubber from Walmart. Worked out pretty well. And it goes in under the pocket in there, you know, so it, it just make, makes a fairly neat looking installation. Uh, don't have a bunch of wires hanging and dangling so this thing this is a Lamto L-A-M-T-T-O Lamto model RC06 smart screen 9.25 inches uh, pairing it up with my phone was just nothing to it Turn on the phone, make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on, turn this unit on, and then they see each other. You pair the phone with this, you pair this with the phone, give each one permission to see the other, and that's it. That's all there is to the setup. Yes, sir. Okay, so I just received a phone call on it from my buddy. Gonna give me some fish. So that worked out pretty well. I got to figure out how to turn the volume up on this. Uh, it's got different ways you can connect to get sound. It will, this truck, this model doesn't have Bluetooth. So 
but I still have a couple other options. I can connect it through the FM radio or I can connect it through this audio cable. It came with an audio cable that will work with this. So um, I have those options. I'm going to experiment with it and see if I can get the volume turned up on this. It wasn't very loud. He could hear me fine, but I would, I could, he wasn't very loud out of the onboard speaker. It was loud when it rang. <laughs> of course, I was probably hearing the phone in my pocket ring also. But anyway, that's one of the features it's got that I wanted was hands free calling and text. So that worked out okay. That's working out okay in the backup camera. This is the backup camera view you see here. So I can also, so there you see the split screen view, both cameras. And when I put it in reverse, it's instantaneous. It goes right straight to the backup camera. Big wide view. These, the backup lines, they're adjustable. You can set them up to, and, and calibrate them the way you want. Uh, it'll do all kinds, of, it does all kinds of stuff. It's got a lot of features that I haven't figured out yet. Um, so, uh, mainly what I was after is the backup camera and the hands-free calling. So anyway, uh, this is the third time I've started this video. Yeah, the sound is on this time. <laughs> been a while since I made the video as you can see so anyway the main thing I wanted to talk about was the installation with the uh, where to make your penetration for your cable that turned out to be super simple the next thing I want to talk about is the mount this mount this is one that's installed when you get the camera well, the first thing I noticed when I tried, when I set it up here and was looking at it, was that, as you can see, this dash has got a contour to it, and it's a like a pebble grain. Well, when I set this on here, this this bracket was flat, and so it gave me a gap here and a gap here. Well, I didn't like that because it's got this adhesive, sticky adhesive under there, and that's just going to be collecting dirt and trash and eventually it's going to cause it to work loose. It also comes with this mount. This mount belongs in the trash can. <laughs> At least for my installation. This big suction cup that's on this thing, it's, it's got something on it that's really sticky and plus it's got a lever that you tighten it up with. It doesn't work good at all on this pebble grain dash. I tried it bounces all over the place next thing you know it's turned and it's leaning over there on that side of the dash this is much better it's nice and solid what I did was I took this bracket off I clamped the ends of it in my vise and I took my heat gun and heated that side of that panel I'll show you in the video I didn't get it really hot. I didn't want to mess it up because it is just plastic. But I put a little bit of pressure on it and put a little bit of heat and got just a little bit of bend in that side. And then I did the same thing to this side. And as you can see, it's fitting my contour virtually perfect now. And I stuck it on there using the adhesive pad that comes with it. They also, they also give you an extra one, which is nice. So, Anyway, it's rock solid now. That's 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 what I want. And I got a fairly neat looking installation right here. Nothing's nothing's gonna be flopping around, moving around, or any of that kind of stuff. So that was the main two things I wanted to talk to you about was about what to do with this bracket and where to make your penetration. And make sure you start with your cables at the back end, work your way to the front so all your slack ends up in the cab. Uh, so you have plenty of cable to work with. I had to uh, fold some of the cable up and put a tie wrap around it. It's all up nice and neat up underneath the console down here. So nothing's coming loose. Nothing's going to fall out. It's, uh, it's 
So now all I got to do is learn how to operate this thing. <laughs> so, but luckily, the backup camera function is a no-brainer. No Just put it in reverse, it turns on. So, so it's instantaneous. Got a good view. I'll just have to make up my mind whether I like it, the view with that camera, or I may later upgrade my camera to one of the ones that goes in the handle on the tailgate. It kind of looks more down towards the towards the hitch, um, and that might be what I want because I I, I want to be able to back up to my boat trailer and be able to hook up a little more easily instead of making 19 trips from the cab to the back of the truck to, <laughs> to get hooked up. Okay, so I apologize if this is not the normal Carolina Cad Man type video, but uh, I do I do a little bit of DIY every now and then. It's, it's, if, you're a, if you're a subscriber, you know that. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the video, and I uh, hope to be bringing you some pretty good fishing videos here pretty soon to get the boat once I get through with my boat I got a lot of work to do on it I'm trying to get it squared away and get so we can have a couple of videos going after some red drum before bow season opens in about 80 days 79 days something like that um, because once bow season opens that's all I'm about I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and uh if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that like button. Helps a lot. And uh, until you see me in the next one, there you go.